was the Derry goal a square ball? I think uh, Paddy Bradley does extremely well and delaying his run. But in terms of square ball, not, no, I don't think there's any question. That was a, a legitimate goal. So it's a legitimate goal and that stands. Here's the penalty. Oh, brilliant save by Kerry Connaughton. Is there another score for Tyrone before the break? No, there isn't because the referee's whistle goes for half time here. Were you annoyed, agitated with the referee today? I know, well, I mean, you're always annoyed when decisions don't go your way, and sometimes the interpretation of certain rules be somewhat different one day than another, and that's the problem I have always refereeing, is consistency. A lot of new rules, I like them. You know, the majority of them, uh, yeah, there is a question mark over a couple of them, but the majority of the new rules, I think, it's basically just to tidy up our game. Is there a need to change them? What was wrong in 2009 with uh, football? Managers uh, should have been consulted, brought together, along with players and referees, and you know, once and for all, decide what we want to do with this game. Because you know, I think we've had too much change over the last number of years. We need to get a vision of what we want and go with that and stick with that for a period of time. The mark is that it's at the referee's discretion. Once in the, the, he makes a clean catch between the two 45s on a, from a kick out only, he can mark the ball. But if the referee deems that he has a clear advantage he will allow play to continue. He's not going to have that much high feeling because yeah. people are going to, at all costs, stop some for the catching of ball. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be counterproductive. I like the, the idea of the mark. It is uh, promoting the high catch. More teams will go out and maybe try and combat a player catching the ball. And what you're going to find is more and more breaking ball. And if, if anything, it's going to go against what the principle behind the new rule was. But I also believe that it's possibly going to slow the game down in its current format. The penalty is moving now from the 13 metre line to, to 11 metres. There's a spot now marked for 11 metres out. And, uh, you know, the forthcoming nationally, you're going to see if a goalkeeper moves off his uh, line, the penalty will be retaken. I like the idea of the penalty. It gives the advantage of uh, make it easier to score a penalty. I think the idea of, um, of bringing the penalty spot closer and enhancing the chances of scoring a goal from a penalty, that's a good idea. You know, I see that as reasonable enough that, you know, if a person is fouled in a goal scoring position, then they should have a, a better chance of scoring a goal from the 11 metres. Some people within our association feel that there's an awful lot of throw balls in the game, and uh, I think a definite strike in action will make the referee's job easier. I dislike the idea of the fisted pass because I think it's slowing down the game. The open hand pass, if it's done properly, is a, is, is a much slicker and faster pass. And so what we're trying to do is speed up the game, not slow it down. As regards the square ball rule, the existing rule that was there of whether the ball was in before the player or not is impossible to call for both umpire and referee. In terms of trying to interpret that, I think it's not going to make the situation any easier for, for the referee or for his umpires. I'm not so sure that it's a great idea. I think the one thing that should be done to improve matters on that side is if you're in the square, whether the ball is there or not, it's a free out. Ultimately, we've got to look what type of game do we need, really want? It's going to be very, very hard on referees to call. There's lots of brains in Croke Park. They need to sit down and define the game they want and then devise the rules to achieve the end. I think the biggest problem is the interpretation of the rules, the, the interpretation of the existing rules and the, and the lack of consistency between one uh, referee and another. The reality is, are these going to be thrown out again in April? What's the point in getting too worked up about them? You know, that can't be good for, for anyone. Interesting and different opinions on the new rules there. And thanks indeed to the Grattan's uh, GA Club in Inneskeen and County Monaghan for the use of their facilities in uh, visualising some of those rules. And in particular to John McMenamin and Porrie Keenan, two future...